Hey everyone, welcome to Emerald Dreams Part 2, the finale. You can see I decided to add gold leaf on top of my gold nugget crystal -y area. And what I did here was I just took some clear resin and I laid it down across my gold area. And then I adhered the gold leaf to it using a soft brush. I worked it in between all of the nuggets, nooks, and crannies. And then toward the end, I went ahead and added some more glitter just to give it a little more sparkle again. And on this geode, I decided to cover up my clay lines with sparkling resin. So what I did was I just took some resin and I added a lot of glitter to it in different colors and then it was when it was really really thick I poured it over the lines of my clay in different colors and you'll see me adding gold to this section and I added some sparkly green to other sections and so on and so forth. You can see just how much glitter I used in this little tiny um, measuring cup and you really want to get it really thick and chunky so that when you pour it down it doesn't move too much it stays where you leave it and so that's what I did and it worked really really well. I was really struggling with this one on where to put my paint markers and you'll see the end result but I did a lot of erasing and starting over and a good way to erase those uh, permanent markers is to use alcohol wipes. You can just go over them as many times as you want. I forgoed my Posca pens and went with some other markers I had bought and they worked out really really well. I will see if I can find a link for you to those markers and of course I'll put all the supplies down in my description below. You can see me here putting aluminum tape along the border so that I can put my final clear coat down. I chose to use aluminum tape because now I have a lot of crystals sticking out around the edges and it just adheres better to all those nooks and crannies. 
Then using my preferred brand of resin, Art Resin, I mixed up a batch just to give this a nice clear coat. I layered over the entire thing, but I went ahead and left some of the crystal areas sticking up from the surface a bit. And you can see the cured result is just this glassy shine, which I really love. And then after about two hours, I go ahead and take that aluminum tape off. I realize there is not a lot of detail in this video. But if you go ahead and click on that link above, that'll take you to a geode video with a lot of detail, more of a tutorial. So thanks for watching, and if you haven't yet, please hit subscribe, and I will see you next time.